Welcome to Powertrain On Demand. My name is Alexa and we are gonna do a short but high intensity cardio and core workout today. So you're not gonna need any equipment. Find some space, grab your water, and we're gonna get started. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna mix a combination of core work, so obliques, your abs right in here, your glutes, your hips, and also gonna get that cardio peak going. So you're gonna have that higher heart rate, which is okay because we need to do that so that we can burn more calories throughout the rest of the day. So make sure you have your stuff ready. Make sure you have some space. We're gonna go through a quick warm up first. We're gonna get into the meat of the work and we've got a little finisher at the very end before we cool it down. All right guys, so first one that we're gonna do, we're gonna just start squatting it off nice and easy. One of the best exercises you can do to get warm is just squats right here. It gets your glutes, your legs, your hips all warmed up. Anytime you're doing these squats, you wanna push those knees out. Make sure there's no caving in there. Just a couple of more. And then we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Get the heart rate up a little bit. If you've got a watch that you're tracking your activity, go ahead and start that watch right now. Wanna make sure you track all the calories you're gonna burn. Next one, you're gonna bring your feet wide. We're gonna reach down. Push those hips back. Walk it over, other side. One more each side then. We're gonna walk it back over. Make sure you feel that stretch in those hips, in those inner thighs. From here, we're gonna stand it up. You're gonna reach down and swipe your shoelaces. So when you're doing this from the side, you wanna make sure you're pushing your hips back and you're swiping. You're gonna feel a good stretch down the back of those legs. Okay, our next one, butt kicks. So you can do it like this, one leg at a time. If you're taking away the impact, right in here. And that's something I want everybody to watch for. Throughout this workout, I'll be able to show you modifications and different intensifications. So if you need to make it a little easier or lower impact or higher intensity, you can do all of the above. Turn it into high knees. Also high knees, you can just march in place here. Give me some backward arm rolls. Now, I'm gonna have five different exercises that we're gonna go through four different rounds, okay? After each round, we'll get a quick sip of water, quick break, regroup, and start back at the top. So I'm gonna show you your exercises first. You've got 30 seconds right now. As I demonstrate everything, stay moving. You're either bouncing around in place or you're gonna keep stretching everything out. Your time. First one, it's a shuffle, shuffle, punch. Shuffle, shuffle, punch. Two, two shuffles and you're punching to the side. So when you go to punch, twist, rotate, and extend that arm. Come back to your face, twist and extend, okay? That's your first exercise. Second one, it's gonna be a squat front kick. So you squat down, extend, and as you lean back, you're bracing those abs, getting the core even more. Next one, body saws. We're gonna come down to the ground. So in that low plank position, you're gonna rock forward and back. So this one is gonna get your heart rate up because it's slow and controlled. So your body's gotta hold that position. You're going up and back as many times as you can, holding that flat back the whole time. From there, we're gonna jump up, jumping jacks. Right here, I want those feet all the way in and then out. Option to tap, just like that. Last one, side V-ups. So you're gonna be on the meaty part of your butt. You're gonna come in, tuck the knees in and extend out, okay? So I'm not on my tailbone and I'm not on my hip. Right on that glute, pull it in. Option to leave that bottom leg down and back up like that, okay? Those are the exercises that we're doing. 30 seconds is up. We're starting with that shuffle and the punch. Okay, we're doing 40 seconds on, only 20 seconds off, okay? So it's a two to one work ratio. So we're gonna work two times as long as we get for rest. So it's not gonna be easy. So make sure if you need your water, you have it close by. We're gonna get it started. Two shuffles and a punch in three, two, and one. Go! Shuffle, shuffle here. Now, I want you to make sure your hands stay up at your face, and when you twist, you rotate. Pull that arm back in. Right here. Now, can you get a little bit lower, or can you travel further? You can give me two or one shuffle. Totally up to you, but it's gotta be quick. You're over halfway. Rotate around. Make sure when you punch, you punch far out, and then you pull it right back in. 10 more seconds. Here we go, come on. Are you traveling further or are you going for speed? Three, two, and rest. Good job. All right, starting to breathe a little heavy. Only one done. Next one, squat to a front kick. 
Now collect yourself. We got about 10 seconds till we start. So you get a little bit longer recovery. So you can give me 100% effort. We're going in five seconds. Squat to a front kick. Get ready, set, let's go. So with these squats and kicks, as you lean back, brace your core. Squeeze your abs from the side. You're squatting, lean it back. So I'm extending, squeezing. Keep going. Now you don't have to go all the way down. We want to get that heart rate up. You got 15 more seconds. Squeeze up. If that's not feeling good squatting that much, right here. Still brace that back. Keep your abs tight. Final 10. You got this or drop low. Come on, straight up. You got this. Three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, if you're not breathing heavy yet, now's the time that you gotta kick it into overdrive. We gotta set the tone for the workout. You gotta start off really strong, finish really strong. We're on the ground, we're going to those body saws. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the side. Flat back on your toes, on your forearms. So we're going in three, two, and one, go. So like I said, your heart rate is gonna be pumping, especially once we get a few rounds in. Flat back. And you're going as much on your toes as you can, as far as you can, and then as far as you can down here. Flat back. You got this. If this is a little too hard, come up onto your hands and do the same thing. Same thing. There you go. Almost there, guys. You got this. Final 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Drop down to those toes and those forearms. You got this. Come on. Stay on it. Stay on it. Don't you give up on me. Come on. I see you out there. You've got four, three, two, and up. Whew. Okay, we're coming up. Jumping jack, standard jumping jack. One thing that I wanna make sure that we're not doing this. This is not a rest, this is not an active recovery. This is our work, so we gotta go 100% effort. You got five seconds. 100% effort, big long arms, wide and tucking in, get set, go. So hands open really, really long. Long arms, you can have a slight bend. You don't need to lock it out. We don't want locked out arms. Slight bend in those elbows. Pull your shoulders down and back as you squeeze. With those legs, your hands and your feet are out at the same time and then you're pulling them in. Squeeze your elbow, your thighs together and then right back out. Come on, we got this. Option, step it out. Remember, slight bend in that elbow thing. Pull that elbow to your sides as you're going. You're almost there. Come on, here we go. Five seconds, four, Three, you got this, two, and rest. One more, on the ground, side V-ups. Whoo, this is my favorite spot. Just get to take a little breather. Got about 13 seconds before we start. So make sure if you're having that bottom leg down, forearms on the ground, you're gonna squeeze up and out. We're going both legs and out. Get ready, set, and go. So you're gonna lengthen and contract. So you're trying to get that top elbow to that top knee. So you extend and you pull in. Doesn't matter if you've got both feet up or just one. You gotta extend every time. Really lengthen those obliques out. Here we go, we're halfway. Now the thing is, we gotta do both sides. So we're not done after this. Here we go, come on. Almost there, last 10. You got this. Almost there, here we go. Three, two, and rest. Flip it over, we got 40 seconds on this side. 40 seconds of fun. Now, anytime you're doing this, make sure you stretch your back out. Sometimes we do a little bit too much core back to back to back if we're on our own, we don't have that direction, and then your back starts to fire up. The really important thing is that you make sure you're engaging those abs, not the low back. All right, we're going back to it. 40 seconds, get set and go. So you squeeze in and then extend low. So you gotta stretch and contract. That's how we really get those abs firing. And it doesn't matter if you've got that bottom leg down or not. If you're on that glute muscle, you're squeezing in, really hitting those obliques hard. Come on, pull it in. There we go, squeeze in. You got 15 more seconds. So lengthen and pull. Here we go, how many can you get? Pull it in, pull it in. Eight seconds, you got this. Pull, pull, four, three, two, and rest, good job, all right. One more, oh no, you know what, I lied to you. 
That's all our exercises. So it's six total, five true exercises. Last one of the V-up sits on both sides. So that's our first round. We start back at the top in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, we go back to that shuffle and the punch. Round two, get ready, set, and go. Now, do you wanna get more punches in by getting one shuffle, or are you shuffling twice? And then one punch. When you punch, I want it to be fast out, pull it right back into that face. Here we go. Squeeze back. Now, your legs should be hurting a little bit because we were working them. So I don't want you to slow down. Speed up, come on. 15 seconds. Deliver that punch, pull it back. You're gonna feel it in that back because you're ripping it back. Come on. Five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Okay, breathe. You wonder why all these boxers out there got six packs. Got to keep everything nice and tight. So with this squat and kick, lean back, brace the abs, pull it back in. Got 10 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. My heart rate's nice and high by now. We're going in three, two, one. Squat, kick, go. Squat and kick. So squat down, extend. Brace the abs. So I'm leaning back when I kick. I'm not standing straight up. Lean it back. You're going to feel it in your core. Here we go. If the squats bother your knees or hips at all, you're just doing a little top quarter and enough to brace the abs, squeeze back. If they're feeling good, drop it low. Up, get down, get up, 10 seconds. Almost there. Come on, we got this. I'm right here with you. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Good work, everybody. We're down on the ground, we're back to those body saws. Body saws. Move your hair out of your face so you can see me. Going in 10 seconds. So with these body saws, you're either starting on your hands, on your toes here, not on the knees, not on these. You gotta be on your toes to get, be, get the ability to rock. We're going in three, two, and one. Here we go. So we're rocking. Nice little rocking chair here. Flat back. If at any point you need a break, and you just need to hold it here for a second, Yep, this is your break. You're not really breaking. You can come up onto those toes. You got this. If at any point you start to get up here or your back is arching, tuck your hips in. As Soon as you tuck your hips in like that, you're gonna feel your abs turn on. You got 10 more seconds. I need you to focus in here. Come on, you gotta set the tone for the entire workout right here. You got this. Three, two, and rest. Make your way back up. Make my way downtown. We're moving up. Jumping jacks, coming up next. So this is the simplest movement. Probably one you did when you were like, what, kindergarten, first grade in gym class. So we all know this movement. So I want you to get the most out of this simple movement. As fast as you can, pull those legs in, arms up, get ready, set, let's go. Feet wide, pull in. Now notice the slight bend in my elbows. So I can pull, pull the elbows down to your sides and go faster. Come on, in and out. Option to tap, arms still moving quickly. Come on, you got this. We are halfway there, let's go. Come on, in and out, in and out. Feet together and feet wide. You can do this, 10 seconds, let's go. Come on, long arms, just a slight bend. You got this, four, three, come on, two, and one, nice job. Uh -huh. Get the heart rate up, 40 seconds ain't no joke. We're going back on the ground, V-ups, each side. <gasps> Anybody else have allergies out there? Me. So keep your little Kleenex tissue box there, nice and close. We're gonna get through this allergy season. V-ups, get ready, set, and go to this side. So we're working those obliques. Here we go, remember you can have that bottom leg down, you just gotta keep squeezing that upper half up and then down. So your upper half has to meet your lower half. You can't just be the knee. You gotta drive up and extend. You gotta get that stretch before you can come up. So you get a full contraction. Otherwise, you're only working half of it. We can't do anything half-heartedly. Come on, you got 10 seconds. Eight, come on. Let's go, let's go. Four, three, two, and rest. Flip it over. 
Now's a good check-in point. How do you think you're feeling? Are you giving me 150%? If the answer is not a quick, yes, Alexa, I am, bump it up. You've got one more time here. We're going in 10 seconds. One more time here, and then we start round three, okay? Round three is always the hardest because it's the most mental. You've got to really, really zone in and focus in on what your goals are and why you're here. We're going to these V-ups in three, two, and go. Come on. Always in power training, we always say, what's your why? Why are you here? Are you here for anyone but yourself? If you can't do it for yourself, you can't do it for others. Come on, squeeze in and out. So think about this as we're doing these V-ups. What is your why? Why are you doing this workout right now? Do you just want to get fit? Are you trying to get healthy so you can be around as long as possible? You got 10 seconds, whatever it is. I want you to think about it right now. Come on, squeeze up. Think about what your goals are. Three, two, and rest. Okay, 20 seconds and we start round three. Grab a sip of water. Now, what's your why? That's really can hit home for a lot of people. Think about what encouraged you to get here. Who encouraged you to get here? And think about where you could be in one month, three months, 12 months down the road. If you really can stick to whatever your why is, whatever that is for you, if you can stick to it, you can get there. Okay, we're coming up. We've got the shuffle and punches. Round three, get ready, set, let's go. Come on, I'm right here with you. Now you can go speed. One shuffle, one punch, or two. Don't forget, two or one. Come on, we got round three. In the corner with the shuffle and the punch. Here we go. Come on, 15 seconds. You got this. Twist, punch and pull in. Almost there, you got this guys. Four, three, two, and rest. Whew, I always like to finish a little punch, you know, just added effect. Okay, squat, front kick, breathe it out. <sighs> So it's really important in my mind when I'm doing these exercises, I try and think 10 seconds at a time. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Do that a few times and then you know you get that recovery, okay? Squat to kick. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Squat and kick. You got this. Come on. So with those squats, not here, butt goes back, kick. Flat back, flat back the whole time. Every time you're doing it, no cheating. If you're not squatting as low, that's okay. Keep that bend in those knees. You're gonna feel it on those hips every time you kick those hips where those low abs connect. You gotta go. Come on. Last 10. You got this. Squeeze up. Almost there. Three, two, one more. Rest, good job. Okay, we're coming down to the ground. Body saws, you know what to do here. So I want you to challenge yourself. Can you stay on your toes and your forearms the entire time? If you were doing most of it on your hands and your toes, can you try and jump to your forearms just a little bit for maybe just a few seconds? Let's see what you got. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. So flat back. Remember, your hips are not arched. Tuck those hips in. Flat back. Flat back, you got this. If you're starting to really fatigue, you can come up to your hands and rock just a little bit right here. It'll take away a little intensity, but you can still work those abs. Do you need to just hold this high plank? You can do that. That's all right. Hold it right here. Just no butts in the air, no saggy hips. Tuck those hips in flat right there. Come on, you've got this. Three, two, and one. Good job. Find your way back up. Jumping jacks. I think this might be my favorite one. It's so simple. You just gotta think, slight bend, pull those elbows down, feet go in and out. It's a really, really quick way to get that cardio up. And we want that. Don't forget, we go back down to the ground after these. So we wanna jack that heart rate up, up as high as we can. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. 40 seconds. We can do this. Come on. In and out, in and out. You got this, we're going strong here. Let's go. Come on. Right now, your mind is thinking, oh, I gotta slow down. This is hard. Say, no, we're going. We gotta stay quick, it's round three. This is all mental. This is where your mind's playing tricks on you. And I'm right here with you. I want you to go. You got 15 more seconds right here. We got this. Hard as you can. Round three, all you gotta do is talk to yourself. All you gotta do is listen to me saying, don't you dare stop. We got this in three, two, and rest. Great work with that. Nice job. 
Okay, take a quick breather. We're going back down to the ground. Last round of the V-ups on this side before our fourth and final round in this cardio core workout. So remember, find the meaty part of that butt. Doesn't matter if your bottom leg is down or up. We're going in three, two, and go. So extend, pull in, okay? If you want a little extra challenge, try not to bend those knees in, go straight up. I know, I throw in the challenge on round three. What's the matter with me? You couldn't do it. Try it out. You got it. Try and get that elbow up to that knee. Do you need to drop down? That's okay. Extend, reach, extend, come on. You got it, 15 more seconds. Pull it in, pull it in, you got it. On that meaty part of your butt, you're not on your tailbone. Right here, come on. Belly button's at a 45 degree angle. Three, two, one, and done. Rotate on to the other butt cheek. All right, remember this, this is your last one. You got 40 seconds before we start our fourth and final round of this cardio core. I want you to really start thinking about those goals. We got one more time through. How are you gonna get through it, giving me 100%. Find your way on that butt cheek. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go. Squeeze in and down. Now, are you going straight leg? Squeeze up. This is a very advanced movement. Totally up to you. Are you dropping that bottom leg? That's okay if you are. You just gotta make sure you still lengthen all the way long and pull in. You got this. Come on, we got 15 seconds to go. Pull in, squeeze up. You got this, come on. There we go. Almost there, you got this, five, four. Come on, three, two, one more, and rest. Okay, grab a sip of water right now. You got 20 seconds. Okay, 40 seconds, one more time at all of those, and then we get a quick break before we finish strong with a little core at the very, very end, okay? I got you, we're doing this. Five seconds and we're starting with that shuffle and punch. This is your final round, 100% on all of them. I got you right here, three, two, and one. Let's go. Come on, fourth, final round. Let's go. We gotta work hard right here. Now I'm staying with these quick ones. Are you feeling the two shuffle? Whatever it is, I need you to deliver those punches fast. Come on. There we go, 20 seconds. What can you do in 20 seconds? Anything, you can do anything in 20 seconds. Come on, you got this. Stay with me. You're almost there, last 10. Strong punch, pull it back. Three, two, one more, and done. Good work. Okay, we got the squat to the kick. Breathe. Sometimes I just like to close my eyes and say, you got this, only positive self-talk. Never no, never say no to yourself. Breathe. Okay, we're going to the squat to the kick in five seconds. Five seconds, get ready, set, let's go. Final round. Come on, we're up and we're down, we're kicking. Imagine there's someone in front of you, you know, might not be your favorite person. They're right in front of you and they're really making you mad. What do you do? Strong kick, come on. There we go. Not encouraging violence, don't worry. Non-contact, you got 15 seconds. Squat and kick. Come on, imagine that bag's right in front of you. Can you kick it? Hard as you can. 10 seconds, you got this. Five, four, come on, three, two, and rest. Good work. On the ground, body saws, you know what's coming. You got this by now. So I'm gonna show you from the side again. Important, now that we're getting a little bit tired, don't let those hips go. Keep them tucked in and tight so you can really engage those abs and not that back, okay? Five seconds and we start. Starting on those forearms in three, two, and one. Here we go. So this is not about speed. Right now your heart rate's high, so your body's gotta work double time to control and squeeze every muscle to keep you stable. You are not dropping to those knees. That is not an option. You got this. Come up to those hands. If you need a rest, we're here. You're right here. You breathe. You can do it on your toes. You can do this 15 seconds. You got this. I'm right here with you. We're almost there, almost there. Final 10. Drop in low if you can. 10 seconds as far as you can. Four, three, two, and rest. 
Nice job. Coming back up. Jumping jacks. Okay, we got to get that heart rate high. We got to do it. We're almost there. Mom, we're about 20 minutes into this hard work here. We got this. Jumping jacks in 10 seconds. You got 40 seconds of work right here. 40 seconds. Getting that heart rate high. How high can you get that heart rate safely? Get ready. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go. Final round here. In and out. Sometimes you got to think about something other than what you're doing. If all I'm thinking about is, man, this is hard. I'm not going to go very far. If you think about what your goal is, what do you want to look like? How do you want your clothes to fit? That's what I want you to think about right now. And now, how much harder can you push yourself? We got to go quick. In and out. 15 seconds. You can do this. Keep those arms moving. Otherwise, we're stepping it out. Stay moving. Don't you stop. You can do this. Five more seconds. Come on. Four, three, come on, two, and one. Good work, heart rate. Boom, 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 pretty heavy. Come on to the ground. Okay, we've got one round at each before we finish off with a little kicker at the very end, okay? I promise, you're gonna be able to do it. Okay, we're on the ground here. Arms on the ground, we're going up to those V-ups. Straight leg if you can, bent knee or top leg. Get ready, set and go. So can you keep those legs straight? Super advanced, level three, level two, moderate right here. Level one, you're cranking it out. Now, you are still working the exact same muscle groups every time, it doesn't matter what level you're at. It's just how much variety and intensity are you gonna add? Whatever your best is, it doesn't matter. You're only in competition with yourself. Never compare yourself to others. It's only a way to set yourself up for failure. You gotta go hard. Where were you yesterday? Where were you last week? Are you a step ahead? Three, two, and rest. Cause that's all you gotta measure. Don't look at other people, you gotta look at you. My grandpa used to always say, if you can look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, I like me, you're doing all right. Okay, we're going down. Other side, after this, you get a quick one minute recovery, a whole minute, a whole 60 seconds to yourself. Get ready and go. Squeeze in and up. Here we go. Pull it in. Remember, it doesn't matter where you're at. As long as you're giving me 100%, and only you know that. If I was sitting right next to you, would you be going a little bit harder? Would you be resting more? No way. If someone's watching you, you go harder. Come on, give me 100%. You got 15 seconds. 15 seconds, stay moving. Remember, I'm still going long and pulling it in. You got this, almost there, final five. Let's go, gotta work. Three, two, and one. All right, you got a minute off. One minute. Grab a sip of water, how we feeling? You should have a little crazy hair. It's always a good indicator for me if I'm working hard enough, if my hair is nice and perfect and my makeup still looks perfect. Probably not working hard enough. I wanna see the ugly gym sweats all over you guys. If you take a quick look in the mirror and say, yikes, good job, that's great. So our last thing that we're gonna do guys, we got about 30 seconds till we start. We're gonna be doing squat jacks. So you're gonna squat down and then come into a jack. I'll show you modifications. Then we're gonna do plank jacks on the ground. And finally, we are gonna do some crab toe touches. So what that looks like, okay? Squat jacks, you're gonna be up here, small squat, jack out. So you're going out. It's only 15 seconds at each one, okay? Option squat and lift, okay? That's your first one. Second one, plank jacks. In that plank position, feet jacking in and out, okay? Option to tap. Finally, you're on your back. You're gonna push yourself up and you're gonna touch your toe. You wanna grab that toe. So you're working your abs by keeping your hips up, okay? If that's too much, you're staying down on the ground, feet a little bit longer, and you're reaching. Still getting those abs, okay? 15 seconds at each, okay? 15 on, 15 off. Okay, we're going in about five seconds. Five seconds, squat jacks first. You ready? Get ready. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go, 15 seconds, three times. Squeeze up, so you squat down and extend. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Down to the ground. Plank jacks. Remember, it's only 15 seconds. You gotta really commit to it. We're going in five seconds. 
Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. So jacking your feet, flat back from the side. I want you to watch my back stays still. Core is tight. Option to tap. You're almost there. Three, two, and rest. Okay, we're on your back. Flip it over on that booty. So remember, you're gonna try and keep those hips up. Grab those big toes. We got about five seconds till we start. Breathe. Get ready. Set and go. So you're reaching for your toe. Keep those hips up. So it's a mix of a bridge and a tiny V up. So option, you can keep down and reach. Flat back. Here we go, three, two, and rest. Good job, we're back up 15 seconds off. We do that two more times. Squat jacks. Get ready. We're going in five seconds. Remember, squat and extend. It's almost like you're making a nice happy star in the air. Get ready, set, and go. Squat and extend. How wide can you get those legs and pull them back in? Come on, shoot the hands out. Option right here. Long legs, long legs, you got this. Four, three, two, and rest. Whew. Yep, the old heart rate's on that. Okay, we're going to those plank jacks, so it doesn't matter if you're stepping it out. Big thing is that your hips are not sagging up and down, flat back. Going in four, three, two, and go. So it's okay if you're tapping. That's great. Gotta keep that back flat. The way you do that, I want you to think, suck the core in. Keep those hips still. Squeeze the glutes. Three, two, and rest. Okay, on your back. Round two, come on, we only got one more after this. From here, it doesn't matter if you're starting long and reaching or if you're pushing up. Gotta be 100% effort, get ready. Going in three, two, and go. Squeeze up, up. We got this. We're at the very end here. We're almost there. We got this. Squeeze up and up, five seconds. Grabbing that big toe. Two and one. Okay, one round, you've got one round left. 45 seconds of work and you're done, okay? 15 seconds at each, squat jacks. We start in five seconds. <sighs> Big breath, 150% right now. Get set and go. Big jump, squat down and extend. Come on. Doesn't matter where you're at. You gotta give me 150%, let's go. Three, two, and one. On the ground, on the ground, baby. Here we go. Plank jacks, get ready. Set and start. Come on. Can you keep your back flat? This is your finisher right here. You got this. Doesn't matter if you're tapping. Core is tight. Five seconds. Come on. Three, two, and rest. Crab toe touches is your final exercise. Final one. Getting those hips up where you're reaching for those big toes. Get ready. Set and go. 15 seconds. How fast can you go? Hips are high. Come on. Eight, you're almost there. Stay up, stay up. Three, two, and rest. Ah, great job. Good job. Find your way up. Find your way up. How are we feeling? Awesome. Okay. We did the bulk of the work. Now it's time to bask in the glory of a cool down. Your endorphins should be pumping right now. Sweat dripping all over your body, your hair's all up in your face. And that's exactly how we like it. Great job, we're gonna cool it down. Take two deep breaths. Okay, we're gonna fold it down. Feet wide, just like the warm up. Push those hips side to side. Breathe it out. Good, take a knee, one knee is forward. Now what I want you to think about doing, you're not gonna lunge forward right away, I want you to tuck your hips in. So hips in, and now lean forward a little bit more, you're gonna feel that stretch in that hip really nicely. From here, we're gonna shift our weight back. We're gonna stretch out that calf. Go ahead, switch legs. Other leg forward. Remember, we're gonna tuck the hips in, lean it forward, get that hip, yes. All those kicks, we, uh, we worked them, all right. Squeeze in, 
Same thing, we're gonna shift our weight back. Building that back of the calf there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, stand it up. And from the side, I'm gonna show you. I want you to keep a slight bend in those knees. Reach down, how far can you reach? It doesn't matter. I want you to push those hips back. And just bend those knees, nice and easy. We're gonna slowly roll it up. Slowly roll it up, we're gonna go arm circles back, five of them. Two, shoulders down and back. Two more. Now we're gonna just do neck rolls to the back, side to side, nice and slow. We're never doing these quickly. Nice and slow. Now we're gonna pull nice and easy, just a slight little tug, nothing intense here. This side, now you're gonna feel your heart rate started to come down. It's feeling nice and easy now. And now is when you really show off that smile because you guys are done. Thank you for joining us today for this core and cardio workout. You guys killed that. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned on more Powertrain On Demand. We're going to bring you guys a ton of content. We're so excited. Thank you for being here. See you guys next time. Awesome job today, guys. Make sure that you check out powertrainsports.com to find your local Powertrain facility.